Hey guys, thanks for joining me for this video lesson. I hope you are all doing great. Now let's talk about draped swags and tails. I'm hoping that the information that I will be giving you today will actually help you in making your decisions when it comes on to choosing um, to use swags and jabos in your space. Now, in essence, Swags and Javos are usually more formal. They are a formal window treatment. And so they are usually found in grand traditional homes. However, if you want to use Swags and Javos in your space and it's not that formal, it's probably semi-formal or even a little relaxed country, what you could do is use choose fabrics that will mm, kind of reduce the traditional feel of those swags and tails you may want to choose like a heavier sheer fabric or a muslin fabric that will make it feel less stuffy Plus, you may also want to avoid the treatment being too extravagant. The more tails and the more swags and pleats and everything you have, it's the more traditional it will feel. So make sure you choose a fabric that will give you the look and feel in your space in general when you are through making the swags and jabos also avoid using fabrics such as velvet and linen those fabrics are hard whether or not you have a traditional uh, a traditional formal space if you're a beginner those fabrics are hard to um, make your folds in order to make a uh, in order to do a decent job right if you're trying to do your own choose something that is light and pliable for example something like this a fabric like this it's a blend of cotton and polyester but it is light it is pliable and it's easy to fold so your folds will just swoop nicely talking about choosing fabrics guys your swags and your tails are usually lined and they are lined for two particular reasons one the lining actually adds body and weight to the swags and the tails and so they hang easier and they sit nicely the other reason is when you cut your tails and you pleat them back usually you see the underside of the fabric because generally they are cut on the diagonal at the bottom so you have to consider what you want to be shown at the front when you choose your lining fabric. Make sure you choose something that's going to correlate with the colors and the design in your space. Another thing you want to consider in choosing swags and tails for your window is your window size itself how big is your window if your window is on the smaller side you have to bear in mind that you will be losing light coming through your window into your space if it is on the larger size then that wouldn't be such a concern however I have something that you could do to cheat if your window is maybe medium, not that small, not that large, but somewhere there. What you could do is basically start your window treatment off the frame. 
so take it a little higher than the frame and a little wider and then when you do the treatment you just skirt the top of the frame and the side of the frame that way you won't cut down on the light that's coming in your space too much so that's one thing that you can do or that's the thing that you can do to cheat if you have a medium size window oh when uh, making or planning your swags and your tails proportion and scale is important to give you a balanced feel now there are general rules as per the length of your swag and the length of your tails those are made to be broken they are not hard and fast it all depends on the look that you're going for the feel that you want in your space and if at the end you can stand back and say i feel good about how that looks right so the general rule for tails is that it should not extend further down more than two-thirds of your window height that's two-thirds that's for the tails so for a window that's six feet high your tail should not fall lower than four feet and the best way to calculate the length of your specific window is two third times i'll use six because we have six here equals three into three one three into six two two twos are four so two thirds of six feet is four feet and that is where your tail should stop generally speaking now if you are cheating and you are going higher then you have to account for the height here so for example if you're going six inches higher then you have to add the six inches to the six feet so now you have six feet six inches we already know that two-thirds of six is four feet so two-thirds of six inches would be four inches so your tail should not if you're cheating your tail should not fall lower than four feet four inches now let's look at the depth of the swag that's a swag there. This is the depth of the swag. Now, how low should that swag hang? Generally, the swag should not hang lower than one sixth of the height of your window. So the tail's two thirds, the swag's one sixth. So for a window, that's six feet high the swags should not fall lower than one foot and you know that because you one six of six feet is one foot However, if you are cheating and you're adding six inches, you also have to take that into account when you are doing your measuring for your swags. So therefore, you would have to do one six of six feet 
six inches and one sixth of six feet six inches is one foot one inch so that is where your swag should start the best thing to do when you're planning your swags and tail window treatments is to get some old fabric maybe like old sheets and uh, practice practice mock up your design pin it to how you want it to look practice so that when you cut into that fabric that you buy and you're done what you're doing you will be pleased in the next lesson i will show you how to measure um, for your drape swags and tails and i'll see maybe i'll try to put measuring and calculating in the same video it's, if it's going to be too long then i'll put them in two separate video lessons guys Thank you again so much for watching, for subscribing, liking, sharing, and commenting because all that helped my channel to grow and I appreciate it immensely. You take care now. And by the way, if you have any questions, go ahead and ask them because I'm ready and willing to answer your questions. So you take care now. I'll see you in the next video.